What's going on guys and welcome back to Farmer on the Prairie. Got a little bit of a different video today. It's going to be split up over two days. Uh, first on the agenda is I'm getting ready for a little trip I'm taking tomorrow. Uh, we're hopefully going to go and make another trip looking for a crumbler that maybe might be successful. I'm hoping because this one's twice as far or over twice as far. But and then we're going to go in the barn and work a little bit more on Elizabeth's milkhouse. We're going to look at another crumbler tomorrow. Hopefully this one's the one. It's not a double rolling basket. It is a Case IH 110 crumbler. For those of you who aren't very familiar with it, I'll show you more when we get there. Basically, like on my brother's cultivator, he's got a two bar or a two tine harrow, then with a rolling crumbler single round bar connected to the back of it. Then on this cultivator we've got a three tine harrow and we're going to hopefully be getting this round bar crumbler to pull behind it. I'm saying hopefully because I'm gonna be driving a solid seven to eight hours tomorrow with the hopes of coming home with this thing so really hope that I do in fact come home with it gonna hook it to the back of my truck I have the lighting adapter to make the lights work and flash 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 hopefully we're coming back with something we'll see so I just recently repainted the brush guard on the Kubota and dad was loading bales and said he had a bale fall off the trailer if you haven't noticed we have issues the bales falling around here um, bail fall off the trailer and it crushed the brush guard. I twisted this bar, broke off both of these tabs and pinched them down inside there. And also bent this pin. We're probably going to have to get a new brush guard for that thing. I'm not sure what, a, what the other answer is because everything's bent, busted, and broken. This bottom part here is probably uh, bent as well. Yeah. Right now we can't even open the hood on our tractor. So anyhow. Hard. Oh man, that's twisted. So yeah, I'm gonna have to basically take off my weight bracket again that we just got made for it. Take off this unbolt everything, pull this off, and probably find a new brush guard. Now, the reason we came over here is I am going to get a couple of tires and air them up, put them in the back of my truck, so if we have issues tomorrow, I have tires. All right, I got the tire over here and another smaller hitch pin. I think that's about everything we need. And uh, I think we're good to go now. Back at the barn now. Oh, and I just got some other news that the narrow kit for our tractor, our Kubota tractor, is still showing June delivery. Um, we need the narrow kit for early to late May or early to mid May so for those of you confused on what the narrow kit is we need something that narrows the front axle up to the point of where we can run the tires on 60 inch centers so we can use the rotary hoe and the tine weeder with our Kubota if not that's going to kind of handicap us because we only have one tractor with auto steer that we could use for those jobs so anyhow That'll be a fun, fun time, but uh, we might just have to do that if we can't get the narrow kit in time, which is kind of a bummer. So hopefully Kubota pulls through and comes up with that a little faster. A new brush guard was not that expensive, but it is showing delivery in October. So I'm pretty sure that last time you guys saw me working in here was 
when I was putting the exterior sheeting on. Since then, dad did the electrical. I put rock wool insulation on the walls. I put foam insulation on all the exterior walls, cut them out, fit it in, and glued it in. I put foam insulation on the ceiling. And we've also got a ceiling and we've got lights. So it's getting along a little ways. Right now, I have it set up. We're gonna put the first piece of interior lining up so you guys get to see me do that. Let's hope I measured it right. Nearly as pretty as it was before, but hopefully it'll work. First sheet is up. Well, I do need to nail a couple more nails in the corner. Now I need to get the second sheet in here, start measuring the second sheet, and then cut out for the door. I'm really only expecting to get this wall done tonight. I'd love to do more, but I don't think I'll be able to. I got this wall here done, and I gotta run to a Bible study tonight, and then of course I'm gonna be gone tomorrow. But hopefully, I'll be back here to finish this up tomorrow afternoon before I leave on vacation. So. That's what it looks like. Uh, it's right now 518. Heading down the road. Uh, hopefully going to get down to Southern Illinois at about 8, 830. And get that thing hopefully picked up. He called me, said that he was wrong. It is not a 27 footer. It is, in fact, right at 28 which is totally fine because I was looking for a 27 or 28 footer. Um, but anyhow, we're getting on the road and gonna take off. I'm down here looking at it. Um, it's a little more faded than I thought, but the guy's supposed to be here in a couple minutes, and hopefully we'll get something worked out. I got it, it's behind me. We're rolling down the road now. Um, it did have some slop and a few of the pivot points. A little, I mean, just some wear. Uh, with a rolling basket, it's not that huge a deal. Woo, I almost took out a mailbox. Just pay a little more attention. Um, but it's not that big a deal, but we are on the road heading home. It's probably going to take me four to five hours to get home. But for what it is, I feel like we did okay. So, see you in a little bit. Alright guys, well, it's still behind me and 
I'm about 10 minutes away from home, so I'm about to be done with this little adventure, about 1.45 or so. Uh, I gotta wash it off because there's salt on the bridges. There was another implement hauler running today with a lot wider load and he threw mud all over the road that I drove through and the truck and the uh, rolling basket or crumbler, whatever you want to call it, are covered in mud. So, I'm going home, wash it up. So I stopped by the house and washed it up. This is what she looks like. 